Welcome to a revisiting of the big and hefty looking Stanley lock that I picked out of the package in one of my recent videos. It was a cheap lock that I got from eBay and it works perfectly fine. But yeah, I'm a lock picker and I bought this lock to have some fun, but it picks really easy. So let me show this to you. There are no security pins and it picks open just in a matter of seconds. And as I don't need it as a lock, and picking is not really fun, um, I want to have some fun trying to uh, get it open. Um, I mean, uh, to disassemble it. Um, first, I was thinking how this lock actually was assembled, because you don't see much on the outside. But if you closely look here on the, on the side, you might see a little shadow, maybe not on this side, maybe on the other side, you can see it better. Ah, you can see it barely here on the on this side, and I think that's the place where they inserted the bolts. Because when you open them, open the lock again, you can see the, the bolt here, and this bolt I think was assembled by a hole here in the lock body and then they plugged in brass plugs to close it and I did a good job but I think we can pull it out and that will be the first step in taking apart this big lock. Oops, okay. So here the little plug is out and it's actually only the cover, um, only the top layer covered by this little plug. So that's pretty easy. Let's do the other side. I can just pull it out with a pair of pliers. Yep, here we go. Here is the plug out. So now we can see we have one hole here and here is the other hole. Okay, so I just found another pin right here. And this might be the core retaining pin. So let's try to get it out. Okay, we are one step further. There is this little hole where the pin was in. So that's the little pin that I could drill out. Um, let's put it in here. And that looks like a spring. Oops, here we go. We've got a spring and we've got some more pins. That is a pin. And it's a very long spring. I'm not sure if we have five of these. Oops. We have five of these, but I don't think that this is actually um, a, um, now a driver pin. So let's see if more comes out. Yes, there was more, but what was it? These kind of uh, pins here, very interesting, and uh, two of them. So we have got one of, looks like like a spool with very thick ends. Then we've got uh, this could be a key pin, and another one of these spoolish looking pins, but with a shorter distance in the middle. Let's see if more comes out, but I but I doubt. So now maybe if I now pull out the core, oh maybe I can now pull out the core. Let's see if this is true. Yeah, core comes out a little bit. Maybe there are more of these plugs. 
Um, I will check that um, and let you know. All right, indeed, here we have more of these caps. So looks like that we have found one of the, the pin stacks. Um, yeah, I will continue pulling these plugs out and then we will see if the core comes out. Okay, that was not too difficult. Here we have four stacks uh, in total. Let's just um, dump them out. So now these chambers are empty and we've got some pins and springs here. Okay, now let's see if the core slides out. Oh, no! No resistance at all. Okay, looks like we've found all the pin stacks because I don't feel any resistance here. So that means we have uh, four pin stacks in total on a key that has five cuts. But we still need to find the retaining uh, pin. Okay, maybe it's somewhere. Oh, Maybe it's somewhere else. I will search for it and then we will be able to pull out the core. Okay, I did a little bit of hammering. You can see all the hammer marks here. And that was to find the retaining pin. Um, it's not here, it's not there, it's not here, but here. Ah, here I found another pin, another cap maybe that I will drill out and then we'll see what's hidden behind that. Okay, that turns out to be really exciting. So, the cap is off. That's the little cap, little pin. And now, what will come out here? Hmm, not so much. Oh, yes, there is a very long pin. And that's it. Maybe that was the retaining pin. So now I should be able to pull out the core. Nope, this does not come out. Oh, now the shackle comes out. Ah, ah that was the retaining pin for the, for the shackle. Okay, now the shackle is out. Very nice. And we can see the shackle spring here that's the nice shackle spring okay now how does this come apart further here we have the spring loaded locking bolts on both sides but I want to get the core out, so I think we need to find another pin that holds the core in place. Yep, let me search for it. Ah, I think I found the missing pin. So if we carefully look here on the surface, there is another one of these caps and I think this is the last one that needs to be extracted in order to get the core out. So here's the plug out. And now let's see what comes out of this hole. Okay, very curious to see what we have here left. There is a pin that looks like a retaining pin. And now I believe we should be able to pull out the plug. <laughs> that shoot it out. Or that shot out. That was one of the bolts that held the, the shackle in place. Okay, this is off now and there is another one. There is one of these powerful springs. 
Um, and now, ah, the core comes out, and you can see the poor, poor little four pin core. And there's the five pin key, and the last chamber would sit around here, and there is no hole. Yeah, you can see the manufacturing tolerances here on the plug. This does not look nice. You can even see how much uh, deviation we've got here. It looks like a curve that goes up to the left. That's terrible. It's one of the most terrible cores that I've ever seen. Look, this should be a perfect straight line, uh, which is not the case here. Wow! Okay, so here we have the core. Now we have the... Um, no, it's not empty yet. There's still something in. There's another one of these powerful springs and... There's still something in. No, maybe not anymore. No, it's all empty. So put this in here and that and the keys. Now we have taken apart completely. We have gutted it um, fully. I will now go upstairs, sort the parts, and then I will lay it out and present it to you. So here I'm back at my desk and I've sorted all the pieces a little bit. Um, before we look at the pinning, I want to show you the lock, how it works. Here we have the barrel, it's completely empty, empty currently. Then we have two springs. These go left and right in these holes and they tension the locking bolts. And here we have the locking bolts. Then of course we have the plug and we have the shackle and we have the shackle spring. Okay, easiest um, things first. The shackle spring goes in here and tensions the shackle when the lock is unlocked. So if this is the locked state, you open up the lock and then the shackle pops out automatically. That was easy. So, now we have the two locking bars with the cutouts. These two cutouts um, meet in the middle here. So you stick it in in these holes on the left and on the right side and then they meet in the middle and these cutouts uh, engage with the two round pieces here on the plug and you can imagine when you turn the plug left and right how you can cause these locking bolts to um, be pushed out or pulled in and that's the way the lock is opened or closed when the bolts are in this position they they are in these grooves and so the bolt uh, so the, the, the shackle cannot be pulled out and when the lock is in the open state they are pulled together so that they make the room free for the um, shackle to to come out it's a pain to reassemble this lock because you first have to insert the springs left and right Where's the other spring? Here we go. Now we have to insert the two locking bolts. Now you can use something to push it in. Like so. And on the other side as well. You can now see how the two locking bolts uh, meet in the middle, so the cutouts meet in the middle. And now it would be nice to have a third hand to put the 
plugged in. I think we did manage it, but I need my key to hold it. Nope, it jumped on me. Let's try that again. I need to stick in the key now. Okay, I think I managed to reassemble the lock now. You can see the locking bolts coming out and going in when I turn the, the key. And now we would need to well, it's turning on me. <laughs> okay. Now we would need to install the shackle. First we have the shackle spring. <laughs> now everything jumped on me. Okay, I will not try to do this again. <laughs> I will search for the uh, parts later. <laughs> I think I will find them all. But maybe now let's move on to the pinning um, and to the plug. You've already seen how ugly this plug is made. You can see the uh, deviation of the pin or the, the, the line uh, for the chambers. It's not a straight line, it's bent and it's not smooth, it's like filed with a very rough file. That's a very ugly plug. Uh, and when we move on to the pins, um, it's really funny that they have put in uh, some kind of security pins and two of them for every pin stack. These are kind of uh, spools, as it looks like. Um, but they have different um, dimensions or different properties. Here we have spools with a very thin middle part and here it's a little bit bigger then we have thin again I think these are just um, arbitrary uh, arbitrary pins so what what the machine um, spit it out I don't know this is really strange and you don't feel anything um, from these security pins and with a core that has these uh, weird uh, set up here with this uh, bad tolerances with this uh, deviation here you can put in everything in the lock and it will open uh, very very quickly and easily the key pins are actually okay and uh, yeah we've got some very long springs and here we have the two retaining pins one for the shackle and one for the plug um, yeah, uh, very long springs because the Bible is very long. You can see that's the end of the Bible and it has to reach all the way here uh, to the plug. So we have very long springs and maybe that's also the reason why we have two drivers in, the, in, the, in every chamber uh, because the, yeah, maybe they didn't have uh, a spring that was even longer or they wanted to pretend, not pretend, uh, to prevent an overset attack that you push everything in the in the Bible and then can open up the lock but maybe they have just uh, needed some additional pins to fill up the space well anyhow that's it that was the um, gutting of the Stanley barrel lock I can only show you uh, some parts of this lock here the other 
parts are somewhere laying around. Um, yeah, I hope you found this interesting. Actually, I think that this uh, mechanism um, is very cool and you have only uh, a couple of parts and it looks really robust. It's so sad that they only have four pin stacks in this, uh, in this lock and such kind of bad tolerances. tolerances. Um, otherwise, this would be a very, very nice lock. Yeah. That's it. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and gutting. Cheers and bye bye.